Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 27th of June 2019 and the time is just gone 12.25 British Summer Time. And this week's Chart of the Week video is going to be the Eurostox 50 or as we call it on our platform, the Euro 50. Uh, as we can see here, the Eurostox 50 has had a very impressive run throughout 2019. Uh, the, the market rallied essentially from the end of December last year uh, up until April, and, the, and the, the level that was achieved in April was the highest level seen since August 2018. So quite, a, quite an impressive rally for the first few months of the year. There was obviously a fairly sizable um, pullback uh, between April and early June, just like there was across global indices. But we have managed to kind of press on higher yet again. And as you can see here, the highs of June clearly took out the highs of May. And uh, the market is now sitting comfortably, despite a slight pullback in the last, few, the last few sessions, the market is sitting comfortably above its 50-day moving average, this blue line here. And that comes into play uh, just above seven, just above 3,400. 3, 3,490, to be precise, is the 50-day moving average. And we can see that that particular metric is, is, is uh, important, um, seeing as it acted as support um, at back in, uh, uh, back at the beginning of the year, but also on a few occasions it acted as resistance, a lot of consolidation in around here, it acted as resistance uh, in early June, and we could find it acting as support again in the near future. Now, if a metric has been of, of significance in the past, it makes it more likely it will be of significance in the future. Obviously, there are no guarantees, but it's an area that it's a price area that traders would be keeping an eye out for, especially because it's just north of 3,400, which, which in itself is a big psychological number, and we could see uh, support uh, come into play should the market drift a little lower from there. Uh, Taking a look at the price action in the last few sessions, it's not surprising to see a bit of a pullback after the kind of multi-week high was achieved. If we do drift lower here, we could find support from the 50 moving average, or in around 3,400. Taking a look down here at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, we can see as the market was, was edging lower, there was a, a steady decline in positive momentum. So the downward move in the, in the underlying market has been confirmed by the, by the decline in positive momentum. So if the market does manage to push it lower here, we might find some support in around 3,400, perhaps even from this yellow line here, the water day moving average, which comes into play at uh, 3,364. Once again, that metric act as, as both kind of support on a few occasions in the not too distant past so it could be relevant in, in the future but if the wider upward trend does manage to continue we could see the market uh, heading back to this area here uh, levels uh, not seen for quite some time and uh, th these highs are, are in around 3545 and if you go beyond that we could be looking at targeting in around 3600 um, buying on the dip has been a fairly popular strategy uh, in, the, in the last few months. Obviously, we had quite a sizable pullback here between April and early June. But by and large, uh, buying with, with markets uh, of pullback and retraced has been a popular strategy. So if you do see the market edge lower, support can be found from the yellow line here, the 100-day moving average, and even possibly as low as uh, 3,300. Once again, big psychological number, and there's a bit of consolidation in that area. It's only really if you actually kind of manage to kind of take out, you know, drop below this red line here, the two day moving average at uh, 3,274, and or also this uh, the recent low at 3,247. That's sort of an area. If you take if you go below those levels, then we you know we could begin to think the market's turning over on itself, and the uh, the downward trend. Uh, that that began in, in April might actually be kind of might actually have have a, a, a more have a have more force behind it, and we could see further losses. So if we take out the recent lows, um, the, the early June lows of 3,247, we could take us back down towards this area here in around 3,200. Uh, if you are going to be trading the Eurostoxx 50, just keep just keep in mind. At the G20 summit uh, begins tomorrow. It lasts for two days. On Saturday is the big meeting between uh, the US President Donald Trump and Chinese Premier Xi Jinping. That's going to be the, the, the big focus uh, to watch uh, for, for global, global markets and particularly equity markets, given the trade tensions uh, between the two sides in recent weeks and months. Uh, before you go, uh, before I go, uh, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made, please feel free to leave a review on Google's. Thank you very much.